Welcome to another episode of Wine Still of the Week, where I go find a bottle that is under $20 that's punching above its weight class. Hey, what up everybody? This is Jay Tom Gunter, owner of Grapes and Sound Publishing. As you can see, there's wine in my glass, uh, so you know I'm doing a review. Welcome to another episode of Wine Still of the Week, where I go find a bottle that is under $20 that's punching above its weight class and I believe I got one today as I say every week um hope everybody's doing well I'm in great spirits I am I have been busy um like like crazy uh the beginning of this 2022 but it's good busy um I am right now waiting for the last little bits of things to happen so I can get this uh so I can get this cookbook out uh it's a vibe if you have not grabbed a copy of that uh pre-ordered a copy of that please do because it's going to be off really soon um so I'm excited to get that out finally. I cannot wait. It's been a hold up after hold up. Uh, but yeah, I just can't wait to get that to the people. Um, and then also, I just got my cover art for my new poetry book that's going to be dropping soon. Um, and I will give you more updates updates uh, very, very soon about that. But I'm so excited. I saw the cover and I'm like, yeah, this is it right here. So really excited to share that with you guys. But you guys are not here for all that. You guys are here for the wine. And so let's get right into it. But before I do... Thank you to everyone who's been rocking with me thus far. I appreciate you guys. We're in a new year and you guys are still kind of holding on and hanging out with me and asking me questions. I appreciate that. For everybody who's brand new to the channel, hope to see you in the DMs, asking me wine questions and also uh, talking to me during the, um, like hitting me up in my comment section. So anyway, let's get into the wine. So we're we're relatively local today, uh, we're, meaning that we're still in California. Um, and we're one of my favorite uh, areas in California. It's funny, the reason I decided to pick this bottle for uh, Still was because I was literally just talking to a uh, customer about Paso Robles um, and how amazing their wines are down there. And I was going through some, I went to a couple different places and this one, I saw Paso Robles and I was like, I haven't had this in a long time. Let's see how this vintage is. So I figured I'd do it right in front of the camera. So let's get right into it. We're talking about W Paso, Paso Robles, Cabernet Sauvignon 2019. See if y'all can see that label. And um, yeah, let's get right into this wine. I've been talking, I've been yapping enough, so let's, let's get right into the wine. On the nose on this wine. So I get blackberry. I get a little bit of like a kind of, I get some red fruit here here too. I get a little bit of like red, um, red cranberry. Bit of raspberry, definitely some like uh, new leather. To be more specific, more like Tuscan leather, like really, really high end leather here. A little bit of wet tree bark here too. Perfectly ripe sliced black cherries. So basically, like more black and uh, and red fruit. I'm also getting like a little bit of like a nutmeg thing going on, like a little bit of a spice. All right, let's taste and see what's going on the palate. Mm. Great grip. Great grip on the finish. Um, definitely that um, kind of that red cherry. I'm sorry, the black cherry and the, um, yeah, it's black. Black cherry up front with a little bit of that um, red uh, cranberry kicks in on the third quarter to the finish. The black cherry is up front and it extends all the way to the finish. Um, I'm also getting a little bit of that raspberry kick uh, on the finish. I get a little bit of the, like the nutmeg and the mid palate to the finish. Um, this does not dip at all. This stays like uh, running, like it's it's running for the border. It's running for the finish line of the back of my palate. This is a um, this is a bold wine, uh, no doubt about it. But I love it. It's very very good. There's also like this kind of like a uh, cocoa chocolate note. That's kicking into the third quarter that I'm liking up quite a bit. Tannins are there. They're a bit chewy, but they're there. Um, I would say medium plus tannin. Yeah, medium, medium plus, yeah, medium plus tannin. Great length on this. It's like this nice little coffee bean, you know, in the finish. I highly recommend this wine. This is awesome. Um, it's 
it's like textbook Cabernet with like a little bit more of a red fruit folk forward uh, type stuff going on here. Highly, highly recommended. I dig this wine. Um, go get a bottle of it. I got it at a grocery outlet. Um, and I got it for, uh, what did I pay for this? Oh yeah, I paid uh, $8 for this wine. So to me, this is definitely punching above its weight class. This is either a $25 to $30 bottle of wine in my opinion. And if I was to uh, score it, I would say it's probably at about um, 89 plus. This could almost, I mean, almost hit 90, but I, I would say 89 plus for this wine. Um, and question of the day. My question of the day is, oh, I got a good one. Um, we're going to talk about regions in California. The big dogs. We're going to talk about Sonoma or Napa. Which one do you prefer as far as wine goes? I uh, hope you guys are having a wonderful week. I hope this was the perfect episode to get you into the weekend. And I hope everybody's having a great first month of the year. Uh, I need y'all to be loud in, in Black History Month next month. I need everybody to step up and let's uh, let's celebrate us, us black people. Whether you're black or not, celebrate us. How about that? Uh, Till next time, guys. Cheers.